Wouldn't it be, though, like a giant four-dimensional solid? Well, that's the uh, that's one of the more interesting modern theories and that I go along with is, uh, and again, I'm terrible with the names of the scientists who've proposed these things, and they all name them after themselves or whatever. Uh, but the idea of having... Uh, like the three dimensions of space and then uh, surrounding that a fourth dimension uh, of uh, space. But it would be a fourth dimensional space. Uh, it would be a tesseract or a torus shape uh, type of concept that we really can't even fathom uh, from within three dimensional space. But uh, that shape would be essentially responsible for causing time within three space, causing change in motion and entropy. Uh, and it would be uh, itself like a halo surrounding uh, the local universe and comprised of zero point energy or uh, tachyons. It would be essentially with the hyperspace. I always wonder within that whole thing, what's it contained in, right? <laughs> the, the, yeah, that whole right. thing that we just described. Then there must be a hyper universe that that's all exists in. So that exactly, and that's that's where that theory goes. After that, is that if there's a local universe and then hyperspace, then there would be a larger uh, event horizon in a black hole in a larger universe surrounding the local cosmos. And uh, once you get up into what the physics and the geometry and the mathematics of the larger cosmos, the so-called parent cosmos to our own universe would be like, uh, it becomes extremely abstract extremely quickly. 